For regenerative energy, um, there is a lot of work in the direction of use of biomass and I personally do hate when energy is made from food. It's, it's a no-go in, in, a, in a world where a few hundred million people don't have enough food to eat. We can't, well, convert corn or grain into, into energy, a little bit of energy, because it's inefficient, totally inefficient on top of that. So the bioenergy that is up to the standards with life cycle assessment from all aspects, that would be wood. And with usage of wood, one specific type of wood ut utilization stands out, and that is the wood gas technology. And it can be used small scale, and we work on this together with uh, Jörg Fingers. He has developed uh, wood gas stoves in uh, West Africa, uh, a lot in uh, Burkina Faso, also um, I've worked with him in, in Senegal. And uh, so these are metal uh, stoves and the big advantage is you can carry them. So you ignite them when they burn nicely, they are very clean, you put them inside the house if you like and can take it out again when, when it has uh, done its purpose. Um, the downside is that the metal, uh, well, building is, is, is pretty uh, difficult, so it's not so easy to find people who can do that. Uh, that's why it's also good to know about the uh, loam stove, uh, a wood gas stove that was developed by uh, Marius Bierig, uh, and it's the NOAA stove, and uh, this is uh, Stefan Hügel from our university, and we, we have done a workshop with Marius and we, we did cooking on the stove. It works very well and uh, it's something that we also want to bring into uh, Ethiopia, in, into Aba Minch where we are working at the moment because it's a very cost efficient way of cooking. And the way Marius does it, he has done the calculations based on real experience and the family can cook with wood convert the wood to charcoal while cooking and then sell the charcoal at a higher price as the wood has cost. So they can actually earn money with cooking. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, normally it's a big burden for poor families, the, the uh, cooking material. Mm -hmm. And so that makes a, a little bit of an extra income. And the stove <coughs> is also relatively low cost. And of course, we also want the charcoal as part of terra sanitation that we can use at least parts of the charcoal, maybe the crumbly stuff to put into the compost for, uh, well, building humus that is long lasting even in uh, hot uh, and tropical areas.